Hey there guys and gals and wonderful YouTubers, welcome back guys and we are jumping in Euro Truck today, Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm already kind of in between a quick job right now so we're just going to jump in and continue on with it. Our cargo is a Volvo VMX, uh, we went from Munich and we're on our way to uh, Budapest here. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to unlock a couple more of the uh, dealers. And I believe the big Renault dealer is there. And I think the next one I got to find, I have to go on uh, Wikipedia and see where the other Scania one is. And the reason why I'm doing that is just because um, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to buy a truck. And I'm kind of indecisive and um, I might actually just go with the DAF. Um, I'm actually uh, liking that a lot, but we'll see once we get these other um, dealers unlocked. So looking at the world map, we are like halfway uh, there. Um, yeah, we should be there pretty soon. Uh, yeah, let's jump on in there. Uh, what, what's the weight on it? I don't know the actual tonnage on that, so we'll just uh, keep on driving, guys. So it should be like early in the morning over here. And I did just today update my Pro Mods because I got an email from them saying Pro Mods is updated from the 2.03 to the 2.1. So updated that today. That actually didn't take too long, so I was kind of happy about that. So yeah, I haven't played. I haven't been playing as much Euro Truck as I do American Truck, and uh, I wanted to come in here because I need to get my truck and get my own um, truck going in here. And we're pretty close. I don't know how close we are to. Can we can we see that level five? Um, yeah, we're about, I guess, halfway, so I think probably a couple more routes will probably get us up there to uh, level 5. So I don't think uh, this route's going to get us quite there. My driver is getting close to being sleepy, really tired. I think I might go to sleep, because my delivery doesn't need to be there till... Let's actually see if there's any, if need be, we can actually, uh, sleep somewhere. Yeah, there's plenty of places to sleep if need be. So, um, our ETA says down there Thursday at 8 a.m. Um, expected delivery is Thursday at 10 19 p.m. so I think if we do go to sleep we should still have enough time to make this delivery so yeah with all that out <laughs> Yeah, just stressing out with your truck, you know, driving here is a little bit confusing. And especially when you have the Pro Mods, following the GPS sometimes, I think the GPS doesn't use the best route uh, when you have um, Pro Mods. Because I've seen some instances where it took me off the highway and brought me right back on. When I didn't even need to get off in the first place. So a lot of the times what I do with Pro Mods now is when I usually get closer to big cities on my routes and if I'm on the highway, I'll usually check out the map really quick or check out the map beforehand 
and just make sure um, to double check those um, uh, GPS routes and uh, sometimes I can just shoot straight through when I don't need to get off some places so that really helps out a lot because there's some confusing turns and stuff like that that this uh, GPS throws you on oh, sorry guys So yeah, I think I am going to go with this DAF. Oh, let me show you the load here too. That would be a great idea. Let's get out here a little bit and I'll show you the load. Let's go right about here. And we'll actually go on Photo Studio because it kind of pauses it. You guys know. So we'll take a load at it. So yeah, there's our Cargo, our Volvo. Pretty cool. It's a DAF truck. It's actually a pretty nice looking truck. I might as well take a screenshot here or whatever. So there's the load. That's actually the first load I've seen like this before. It's definitely something cool from Jazzy Cats, I think. I can't wait till Jazzy Cats adds a lot more of the trailers in uh, American Truck. Just taking a sip of the ginger ale. What's going on here? Must be a drop in speed. Yep, 50. So once I get my truck and start getting leveling up and um, unlocking probably like a long distance thing, I do want to start heading up to Scandinavia up there and see some of the uh, scenery up there Ooh, that is a pretty sight guys look at that isn't that beautiful that is gorgeous that is a gorgeous scene This is why I keep coming back to Euro Truck. I mean, there's just some pretty scenery here. Beautiful. Not to say America's not pretty. Amer America's got some really nice um, places. Um, we'll see a lot more beautiful states once they uh, start doing like Colorado and um, probably Utah. I know Utah is kind of like a barren looking state because um, I've actually drove in through, driven through their uh, couple, actually I think it was once I think, coming across country. And uh, it, it kind of reminds me of like a giant Grand Canyon because of the way the uh, scenery is just kind of desolate and just kind of like some of the mountains are... Um, I wouldn't even call them mountains, they just look like corroded mountains or something like that. I wouldn't even call them. It, what it reminded me of was mostly like being on the bottom of an ocean floor without the water, the ocean being there. And uh, I think it probably was probably like millions and millions of years ago. I could see it, you know, and that's what it felt like to me when I went through there. It was just like being on the bottom of an ocean floor uh, with the water drain, basically. So, yeah, it was a pretty cool sight. It was kind of scary a little bit going through there because the highway we were on, normally a lot of places that I travel, there's a gas stations all over. And over there, they're really spread out when I was on the highway, and there's no towns in between. It's just like you go from desolate to a small town, and then you finally get to another small town, but they're like 100 miles, 80 to 100 miles apart. And uh, 
I really got scared because I was afraid I was going to run out of gas, so every time I was uh, shot across each one of these um, towns, I made sure I had enough gas because, yeah, there's no gas stations out in some of those spots out there. Um, it's probably not all Utah, but it was just this... Um, highway that I was on. There was a major highway going through there. I think I was hitting into um, going into uh, California I believe or I don't remember. I've traveled uh, across the United States uh, about four times on my own. Uh, the first time was just moving across the country from uh, the west coast to the east coast and the other couple, three times was um, <sighs> going back there and visiting Was a tight turn there, sir, guys. I can pretty much make any turn in here. Um, if I'm using like some of those heavy, heavy haul stuff, I usually can't. Cause I think some of these roads or these um, highway off passes and on ramps are just a little bit too tight for a lot of the heavy loads. And uh, you end up taking out the signs most of the time. Ninety. I'm gonna go ninety. This bus in front of me is going slow. Yeah, I knew we we're gonna go fifty. <sighs> oh, 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 my turn. My turn, guys. Don't pay attention to that trashy driving. Don't pay attention to it. Ignore it. Just pretend it didn't happen. That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention to the GPS. I was over here chatting. Let's see how far away we're... Oh, we're actually... Could make it. We're actually not that far. I think we could make it without my guy totally getting messed up because he's tired. Beautiful scenery out here. I love what Pro Mods does. I mean, you don't get a lot of those generic locations like where you felt like you've been there before, but it's a different city or country. I get that a lot in American Truck right now. There's a couple locations, quite a few, where it's like, I swore I was there and I've been there before but then I look and I have look on the map and I haven't been there at all it's just so weird because they use a lot of generic locations sometimes cookie cutter towns so I'm looking forward to some um, people coming in there and redoing some of the stuff Hopefully it won't look so bad once they uh, possibly do the um, scaling of it. Alright, I think we just got this one turn and then we should be coming around into the town. Yeah. 
going to Eddie Stilwart's. So I kind of rerouted a little bit just to go through the town. That is just so I can um, find a dealer. I'm gonna just go, I guess. Yeah, I still got time. So I am getting used to driving these cab overs. Um, I do have to do some different settings in the sensitivity area and um, whoa, and the um, the braking. It's quite different than um, I have set up an American truck, and you gotta think these are two completely different trucks with two completely different uh, physical characteristics and physics they just act too different so the general settings that I had American truck do work in here but I have to tweak them somewhat to make them a more fine-tuned so I think the only really thing I have to adjust is the brake intensity and I mentioned that before And I find that just not adjusting my seat too far back on these cab overs um, gives me a little bit um, control on the road for me driving physically. I, I think when I pull back too far in the seat, um, a lot of these turns that I make, I don't make them quite as well. And I think being a little bit more forward, I can kind of judge where the curve and edges of some of the roads are and I can usually kind of brake a little bit better too I can get closer to these cars because I kind of know where my front end is all right avoid sleeping offense what is that I'm not avoiding it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a first. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, you learn something every new every day here in the Euro truck, I guess. So there's the Renault dealer. I have to go around the block and then Parker and Stillbort's area. Yep, I'm going to have to get my truck. We're probably going to do this in the end of this episode because we still have some time. Oh, you know what? My GPS was acting weird when you're getting tired. It wasn't updating. <laughs> That's funny. We're almost going to sleep. I just got to get this parked. Did I see an American RV? Well, then again, I don't know if there's such a thing of as a European looking RV. All right, it's going to be on the right hand side. These still boards. I think these are the little tight places inside like it looks like a little castle and it's going to be on the left when I turn right so gotta remember that yeah <sighs> I'm quite fond of this daft truck actually Yep, there it is. 
These are a little challenging. I haven't done one of these in a while, so... Sometimes getting in there is a little challenging, and then parking these guys. Let's see how we're going to do. Alright. Doing okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Alright. Jeez, you scared the living heck out of me. Yeah, this is not going to go well, guys. I don't think I'm... to go all the way over here. I have to get my trailer lined up. It's just not gonna do it right there. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh my goodness, I better go to sleep here soon. We keep finding me I'm oh, dude, don't black out now. Oh my goodness. Get the wheels straight. I feel I'm going to end running out of air pressure here soon. Man, I can't believe I got fined for that. Guess I didn't take my break like I was supposed to. <sighs> It's a little hard to take a break here when doing quick jobs, I guess. Well, I still got excellent. That's all that matters. I'm not too worried about the fines. I want the XP. Yes, level 5. Awesome. So, probably fragile. Kind of going the same route as I do in uh, American Truck with the unlocks. And I'm going to save this really quick here. And uh, yeah, let's check out what the Renault's style looks like. Oh wow, it's way over. Hungary is a very beautiful country. I really liked it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, What's swaying me right now with the um, DAF is the horsepower because out, out the, I think stock it's kind of a little bit more. Let's check because this is 380. Let's see what the DAF gives you right out the gate. Uh, 360. Whoa, wow, never mind. Um, Renaults give you more. 
I bet Scania gives you about 380 or 390. Hmm. I think this is what I got last time was a Renault. When I played through last time. They're actually not bad looking trucks either. Price wise, we're talking about a hundred. I didn't check out the DAFs. Sorry that I'm going back and forth here, guys. Um DAFs what we're at over here. So it was a hundred and something. Yeah. It's I guess better deal. Gives you retarder. Fuel tank is uh, 1,200 liters. Okay. 1,200 liters. That's only 1,000. That's another thing to keep in mind. But we can probably, when we level up, level 8, get another gas tank. That's another factor, too. Just having a good gas tank. Um, I don't know if that has a retarder on it. And that's another thing I want to have. I really don't know. Not an ex well, actually, we're looking at the wrong one. That's the engine. Oh, uh, yeah. We have the uh, Opta Drive. Hmm. Not a lot of customization. Just all these from the DLC stuff. Just go with a base color, I guess. The gray. Custom color. And just go like a red or something. Kind of stuff we got on this guy. Add some lights and stuff. Yeah, this stuff is on the DAF also. Custom wheels. I love these details right here that are an Amer uh, Euro truck. Gives you information on the tires. You don't have that stuff in American truck. I don't know. I'm liking this one. I might go with this guy. Might purchase this guy. I probably won't do it here on the recording. I uh, still probably want to make a little bit more decisions. I also want to go find the uh, Scania dealer and unlock that. I don't think I'm going to go with the Scania off the bat. But I feel like I'm going to go with this guy here. Really nice looking truck. Can we do some interior stuff? Uh, yes, we can throw a GPS. This other stuff is from a mod. SISL Mega Pack. It basically just adds a ton of stuff you can put in your trucks. It's a really nice uh, pack to have, so you can have a lot of variety. You can put like cool case stuff here, cool box. You can also sort through here and get like a passenger if you want to. You can have Obi Wan drive with you or something like that, or some guy like that. Um, I'm sure they'll eventually have something like this. They kind of do right now for American truck. But it's only for modded trucks that have the capability of, to use this mod. Um, they really need an American truck to release a DLC like this where you can uh, have the um, cabin accessories. And then this mod, I'm sure they'll port this over perfectly over there. So, yeah, I'm liking this one. The only reason why I wanted to go with a DAF is um, this YouTuber that I watch, he uh, does Euro trucking in real life, Ned Kelly. He's an Irish uh, truck driver. He drives for, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the company, but he's very entertaining. He's the one from his truck. Or the company's truck. I actually made me want to uh, drive a DAF. Oh my goodness. I can't remember that Irish Ireland comp trucking company. 
But yeah, that's why I really want to do the DAF. So yeah, that's the DAF. Um, kind of already comes standard with that retarder on it. A little bit more colors, but doesn't really matter. Do you like the bigger tank? We'll see. I mean, I can get both of them. It just depends on which one I want first, you know. So. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is it for this episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. So yeah guys, we'll definitely see you next time out there and take care of yourself guys. Bye bye.